Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to solve a word problem that is related to geometric progression. So if you are new here consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content and don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. So now let us read this question. The question says if the second term of geometric progression is 6 and the fourth term is 54. We are asked to find the first and the fifth terms. Remember, in geometric progression, every subsequent term can be of 10 by multiplying the preceding term by a constant, and that constant is called the common ratio. So, this is how geometric sequence are. Well, the first term is given as a, and multiplying the first term by a common ratio will give us the second term. So we have AR because A multiplied by R is AR. AR multiplied by R is AR to the second power. We have AR to the third power. AR to the fourth power in that order. But from this question, the second and the fifth terms are given to us. Look at the second term is six. So this is the second term. This is equal to six. And the fourth term is given as 50, 54. So how can we obtain the first and the fifth term? Suppose this common ratio is given to us, we can just divide AR by R to get A. But R is unknown. So how can we find it? And suppose this R is given as well, we can multiply the fourth term by that common ratio to obtain the fifth term. There's a particular formula which is TN equal to AR raised to the power of N minus R, where N is the number of terms. This formula can be used to find every term in a geometric progression. So since the fourth and the second term are given to us, we can substitute them into this formula, simplify to obtain our common ratio. So let us start with the bigger one. We are talking about the fourth term. So T4 will be equal to AR to the third power because four minus one is three. And from the question, this is equal to 54. Let us substitute the second one. We have T2, which is the term number two. This is equal to AR because two minus one is equal to one. If you like, you can add your one, but it is not necessary. This is equal to six from the question. I come to realize if I divide this equation by this, A will cancel A and from loss of indices, we have three minus one, which is equal to two. In the end, we are going to obtain R to the second power. And by taking the square root of R to the second power, we will be able to obtain R, which is the required common ratio. So let us do that. We have AR to the third power divided by AR to the first power. This is equal to 54 divided by 6. Let us continue to the other side. A will cancel. A, R to the third divided by R to the first is uh, R to the second power. And this is equal to 54 divided by 6 is equal to 9. We are interested in knowing the common ratio so we can now take the square root of both sides. But you have to add plus or minus to the right. To the left we have r and to the right we have plus or minus 3 because square root of 9 is equal to 3. But look at our sequence. You can see we have 6, 54. All of them are positive so we can now consider r to be positive as well. r is equal to 3. Okay, let us find the first term. So A is equal to AR divided by R because R will cancel R leaving A. But AR is the second term which is given from the question as six. So this is equal to six divided by R is none now, which is equal to three. Finally, you can see that A is equal to two. All right, to find term number five, you can just multiply term number four by the common ratio. And term number four is given from the question as 54. So this is 50, 54 multiplied by R, which is three. And this is equal to 162. Therefore, you can see that A is equal to two, and T5, which is term number five, is equal to 162. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Don't forget also to hit the like button. Bye bye.